Welcome back to Wicked F-150. So today's video is going to be kind of a go over of all the mods that I've done to the truck. Um, I've actually recently had a couple of people say, well, why didn't you just buy a Lariat if you were going to spend all the money modifying <clears throat> the XLT that you got? So my biggest thing or my immediate response was it's not a Lariat. Like I didn't do modifications that would make it a Lariat. I wouldn't have saved any money buying a, spending 10 more thousand dollars on a different trim level with everything that I would have wanted in a Lariat, uh, and then still spend all this money modifying this truck. Um, so the only stuff that I've done to this truck that a Lariat has is the interior ambient lighting and the leather seats. Still different leather seats and different ambient lighting. So I still wouldn't have had the exact same thing that I have now, but those are the only two things that I would have gotten in a Lariat that I've done to the truck. Let's go ahead and go over everything else and how much it's cost me this year to do this truck. Okay, so we're not going to do them in order of which way that I've put them on from the beginning to now or anything like that. We're just gonna start from the front and go to the back and then the interior. So from the front, obviously uh, now everything's included. Uh, the decal right there on the window over there. Uh, the headlights, the bulbs, the fog bulbs, um, the emblem stickers that I did have on the front and back, now only the back. Um, the rims, tires, uh, mirrors, light bar, um, window visors. Um, now this is also going to include things that I have planned, uh, for the next month, month and a half of the year. Like this is how much I've spent this year, you know, of course on the truck that I've had this year. Um, so that will include actually spacers, uh, inch and a half bore spacers, hub centric, of course, since I have enough room to go out farther this time. Uh, from the 18, but so it does include those, um, the antenna, the, from, since you can see it from the outside, the dash cam, oh, something you can't see, the intake underneath the hood, uh, what else from the back, oh, the, uh, tailgate assist, the stickers back here, of course, the F-150 up here, uh, the box links, the bed liner, the rear wheel well liners, the amp steps, the biggest one, obviously, the lift that is on the truck, and the labor to put the lift on. Of course, I included the labor because that's you know part of the cost since I couldn't do it myself. Um, the exhaust that's on the truck, um, I think that's it for the exterior. Yeah, that's it for the exterior. So everything exterior wise, rims and tires were about 24, 2,500 bucks. Um, the Alpha Rexes were about 500. The bulbs inside them, they were a couple hundred bucks. The fogs, I believe they were 50 bucks. The light bars, like 200 bucks. Um, the mirror, these mirrors were 250, somewhere around there, uh, no, 275. The WeatherTech window visors, 150, I think. Um, the decals, they were only like 30 bucks. The dash cam, that's only like 60 bucks. The exhaust, that was like 1500 bucks. Uh, the tailgate assist, that is the DZ tailgate assist. I think that was only like $30. Uh, the box link, I did not get them from, from Ford. Uh, so I believe those total for the brackets and the box link set itself. I think they were like 60 bucks total. Uh, the bed liner, the drop-in, that was only 60 bucks. Trying to think of anything else on the outside. Oh, the flag above the truck. Forgot about that. Uh, that is actually, that was $90. Um, ooh, 
<laughs> Duh. The tint. <laughs> the tint on the truck was 100 and 130 to for both four front passenger and then the rear as well. It was 130, I believe. Now let's go to the interior. Now the, like I said, the steps. Uh, these are about 13 to 1500 bucks. Uh, of course, that does change because they do have different styles of the steps. You get ones that drop as low as these. You can get ones that drop even lower if you have like a six inch lift or something like that. So you're not stepping the whole way up here still. Um, the cell plates, the floor mats, the leather seats, uh, the tray in the console, the M, the sticker emblem. Of course, that is in the same set as the front and rear. Uh, the tuner and tunes to go along with it. The Linkswell and Phoenix screen, since I had them both, they of course both included in the cost, even though I of course only have one now. Um, what else? Oh, the interior lighting in here, uh, which it's dark, so we can go ahead. Oh, it's getting dark, so we can go ahead and turn that on. Wait, of course the key isn't even in. <laughs> Might need to do that to turn it on. So you can actually even see it. There you go. Um, <clears throat> I think that's it interior-wise, actually. Yeah, that's it on here. So all of that, which so obviously the biggest changes were uh, outside. They were the most expensive changes, absolutely. Except for that screen. That screen's pretty expensive. Um, but I've spent, <clears throat> I don't even want to say the number, $8,000 modifying this truck. Um, I couldn't believe it was that high of a number. Uh, now, this is, of course, stuff that I've actually paid for. Not sponsored products or anything like that. Just what I've paid for has been uh, $8,000. So, I hope my wife never uh, watches this video and knows that number, because she's probably going to kill me if she finds that out. But, uh, I'm grateful for the sponsorships and the partial sponsorships to where uh, I get a discount or anything like that on different products. But, that it is a lot of money to put into this truck. But that's the joy of doing it at the same time, is doing all the work, doing as much work as you can yourself. Um, and being able to help anybody else that wants to do the same thing, but is not sure how to go about it or anything like that. Uh, I really enjoy doing, being able to do this. Now, I hope it can continue. Uh, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. You never know what you're going to be able to do because I've only, I started out the, throughout this year, of course, using my own money. Uh, credit cards were a big thing, <laughs> um, but here this fall and stuff like that, uh, everything really started picking up on YouTube, so I've only been using YouTube money for the last couple of months, <clears throat> so it's been a real big help, but trying to plan out what you can afford on your next modification from what you're bringing in, bringing in through YouTube, it, it can be stressful, it can be a hassle. But uh, being able to do it is enjoyable. Um, now that we went over the modifications that I have already, let's go ahead and continue on the ones that are planned and are included in that $8,000. Um, like I said, the uh, spacers, they are included in that. Um, now, the, the bore spacers, uh, stage three, I believe they're like 270, 280, because I'm only going for an inch and a half. Um, it does also include the bull bar that's going back on. Now, I got that for the uh, 18, but I left the mounting brackets on the 18. Didn't take them off. So I have to rebuy them, and those are $100 by themselves for whatever reason. All right, so like I was saying, uh, bull bar brackets, and then another big expense that is coming up um, once it's completed is, surprise, surprise, the roll bar 
that is being custom made by Iron Goat Garage here in Yukon, Oklahoma. There was a couple of you that guessed that, so a couple of you actually uh, got it right, but that's the custom piece that they're putting in, uh, or making, I guess, for me at the moment. Really can't, can't wait to get that in, but that, that was a big cost too. So to roll back to the beginning, uh, it's not a lariat by any means. Um, I can't stand when uh, on any of the forums, the pages on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is, and people are like, well, why didn't you just get a higher trim level and you wouldn't have had to put all this money into it? It's not worth it because you don't get this shit with a higher trim level. Okay, I wouldn't have gotten those headlights. They don't come on any of them. Not one trim level do these headlights come on anything. I don't like the, uh, the OEM look because you can see each individual bulb. I hate that look. I don't want them. So I got these. I would have still had to spend that if I got a platinum. Um, these rims, tires, they don't come on a factory. They're not factory. The lift, not factory. Like the stuff that you do to your vehicle makes it a custom vehicle. That is why we do this. We enjoy making it our own in our own image. Like that's, I, I can't stand when people are on these pages and they argue about people doing stuff to their vehicle. Like that's the whole point of being on the damn page. Uh, it just drives me nuts. And people that talk shit on other people like, Oh man, that's ugly as hell. Why didn't you, why did you do that? Because that person liked it. It doesn't matter why they did it. They did it for their own reason. You may not like it. I may not like it, but that is their vehicle, their choice. Uh, Back in the beginning, some guy was giving me shit because of the tonneau cover, which I ah, forgot to mention that. That's included in the cost, which I can't use anymore anyway. Uh, but some guy gave me shit for buying the tonneau cover because it's the Tygo cover off of Amazon. Uh, it's 220 bucks. I didn't go with a, uh, the retracts or the backflips that you know are a grand. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm not spending a thousand dollars on a fucking tonneau cover that I didn't use anyway. The only time I've used that tonneau cover is on vacation, driving across the country. Yeah, then it came in handy. I don't need to spend a thousand dollars for one trip. Sorry, not gonna happen. That worked for me. Personal preference. I'm not gonna spend it. Like, God, sometimes I just can't stand people. But that's I want to go over this. I uh, haven't done a full build video in a while. I think the last one was like in April and I was still on the 18. Uh, have yet to do one on this. So here you go. And like I said, I wanted to explain, you know, why I do it, how I've been able to do it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you found it interesting. And as usual, every modification I've done is always in the description below. Always. Um, any every new video it just keeps getting updated but the l whole entire list is always in the description um now of course you're gonna have to scroll the whole way to the bottom but like the emblems that you know this is just painted now but the steering wheel and the tailgate emblem the uh overlays they're the, i know they're the whole way at the bottom because that was like one of the first things i did so you got to scroll the whole way through, but they're all there. Uh, I have the headlights. I, of course, have the headlights actually for 15 and up in there. Um, I have every bulb, every light bar, every, the interior kit. I have all of that stuff on there. Uh, the vent shades, the mirrors, the rims, the tires, the lift. Everything is in there in case you want to take a look at it and get it for yourself. Um, now, just to end this real quick. I want to let everybody know I have all this stuff for sale. Buy it so I can put more stuff into the truck. <laughs> Buy it. Stock uh, intake. Tonneau cover. There's all the clips for it right there. Brand new. It even has the bag. It's over in the corner. Like, brand new. Good to go. Uh, steps. Very nice steps. There's nothing wrong with them. Has Ford etched on the uh, ends of both of them right there. Uh, two of the OEM rubber floor mats. Yes, they're kind of dirty, and I will clean them up if anybody does buy them. Two sets of them. Two. Uh, now, of course, it is for the Super Cab, or Super Crew. Front, both fronts and rear. No rips, tears, scratches, nothing. They just need washed. Um, then the Sport Cloth. Okay, perfect condition. 
No stains, tears, rips, nothing. LED lights. Neither one of those are brands. <laughs> um, there are uh, ox beams and then Hikari bulbs, H7s. Of course, they are for the Alpha Rexes, not stock. You cannot use them in your stock housings. Um, I have Ford Edge uh, carpet if you want that too. Um, but that's all I got for sale. But buy it. Oh, one more thing. Raptor grill lights. Uh, hardware, everything comes with it, of course. For that is uh, 18 up XLT grills only. But buy it so I can do more stuff to that. Message me and if you want it. I have no problem shipping any of it. I mean, but you're paying for shipping and you really want to pay for shipping on the running boards or the tonneau cover? Doubt it. Uh, <laughs> but hit me up. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit the like, subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you do get notified of any new videos, which I will be having another one coming out here soon for another F-150 LED video for the tag lights. Let's see the difference they make. Have a great weekend. See y'all.